Hello guys, and welcome to episode two of the Trinity podcast. <laughs> Unfortunately today, um, there's only going to be two of us. <laughs> it's just going to be me and Graham today, because <laughs> Casey is unfortunately yeah, busy uh, this week. So, And he also hasn't seen Justice League. Graham, I'm sorry, I keep interrupting you. Um, oh. Unfortunately, Graham has... Not Graham. Uh, Casey has not seen Justice League, so uh, yeah, he can't review it either. So yeah, this is... Um, God damn it. This is a review of uh, Justice League. Uh, Graham, I, th- I think I think I'll, I'll I'll let you start first and just kind of give your general opinion of the film, and then I'll talk about my general opinion of the film, and then we'll kind of go more in depth. So on you go. Okay. Well, I went in with pretty low expectations, to be honest. Um, you know, I got been pretty burnt out in the past, so I mean, I got forced to see it. So, mm-hmm. uh, but I was probably going to see it my own time anyway. Let's be honest. Um, yeah, I, I thought it was pretty average, you know, inoffensive, really. But not Suicide mm-hmm. Squad, inoffensive, where, you know, like, it's just a nice, fun little time in movies, can't complain too much, I just, I was kind of bored throughout it. Um, mm-hmm. Good performances in there, uh, but, I mean, Aquaman does nothing, Flash is weird. Um, but Superman's great, so, mm-hmm. yeah, just, um... Like I said, there are things I like, things I didn't like, just kind of balances out, I think. Yeah. Uh, you done, yeah? Yep. Okay, cool. Uh, basically, guys, I thought that... Um, at first, I did give it a 7.5 out of 10, but I realised that was <laughs> being way too generous, so I put it down to a 7 out of 10, um, which is kind of spoilers for the end of the video for our official waiting, but whatever. Um, no, yeah, I uh... I know, I know. <laughs> They'll forget. Um, yeah, Justice League for me, like, the first half was really, really weak. Um, in fact, you know what? We'll, we'll just get we'll just get straight into the in-depth stuff. Uh, straight into in-depth stuff. So, so you can button whenever you want, Graham. Um, okay. Yeah, like, I thought that the first half of the movie was really weak. I thought that the first opening sequence, which people people really seem to like the opening sequence with Batman, which was directed by yeah, Joss I, Whedon. I did not like it. I really, really didn't like it. There was something not... It felt like it was kind of... When watching the rest of the film, it was definitely like it was filmed... I don't know. It, it, it didn't feel like the start of the film, but it was the start of the film. I don't know how to describe it, it in, in any other way. It, yeah, it was definitely part of the research. Like, yeah, I mean, I absolutely. It, I can, I can kind of get why you weren't feeling it. Yeah. I mean, um, it was just uh, it was just because of the set, to be honest. Like once actually, like Gotham City and stuff. <laughs> I know, I know. It really did look like Gotham City. I know. Yeah. Um, I just didn't uh, get like why was it because he scared this random ass criminal that he somehow knew that the the monster was going to the parody. Oh like, man, I don't know. Like they didn't they didn't explain that very well. Like no, it's like like what? There's a parademon like. And the guy was like, "What? Like, <laughs> what? Yeah. I, I, I just, I just didn't understand like how the power demon knew that, like Batman was gonna throw that guy off the roof." And it was, I was just like, I, I just didn't. I, I mean, yeah. From honestly, from that point, I was just like, "Man, Zack Snyder directed that, didn't he? Like, he directed that scene, but he actually didn't. It was Joss Whedon." I know. It's like the idea was they're attracted by fear, so somehow if. You know, just by Batman, like, hanging this guy off a roof, they're like, whoa, yeah, I'm just gonna go over there, like, there's so much fear now, I mean, what the fuck yeah. are they, like, the, they're basically like the Black Lanterns, like. Yeah, yeah, basically, I, holy <laughs> shit, that's actually a good analogy, um, yeah, thank you. or comparison, I should say, um, we're not gonna do this scene yeah. by scene, but, uh, we will uh, pretty much talk about the entire fucking yeah. movie, because there's a lot to fucking talk about. Yeah. I will say that the first half is, I agree there, is definitely the weakest. It's just taking ages to bring everyone together and yeah. going on about giving all this exposition that I don't really care about. Like, oh yeah, it's, these are the boxes. This is what they do. Oh yeah, here's a little fight scene from ages ago. And then all, all this crap of like, you know, you have seven wolves attacking Amazon's Atlanteans getting the boxes. and uh-huh. Yeah, it's just kind of... It takes a lot of while to get it going. Yeah, it really does. I th- I think like once they actually get the team properly together, that's when it starts getting good. Um, but like my, my, the only thing was like 
I did like how they brought ba- basically I did like how they brought Superman back, but there was like this maybe two minute um time period just after they basically resurrected him, and I was just like it was it was how they were basically like it was kind of like bizarro kind of thing, and I was just like man what the fuck is this like what the fuck is going on. Um, cause you know, oh. like, I, I thought he was just going to go and fucking massacre everyone. And like, yeah, I genuinely I thought, I think that might have been the original plan. Yeah. Honest. Honestly. So, so, so did I, so did I, cause you can see the, the reshoots in that. I'm pretty sure. Um, yeah, I mean, in the, in the trailer, the, the scene was definitely shot at night. Okay. Like it was yeah. not during daytime. Yeah, I know. It, it, it's just ridiculous. It, it, it just, I, mean, I just I wish they got Joss Whedon from the have... beginning. Yeah. So do I. He would have. Like, I mean, what the fuck are they thinking? Like, they knew they had to make changes, so they get Zack Snyder to do his Zack Snyder thing, and then like, oh wait, we didn't want that, so then <laughs> they panic basically, and then yeah, there is the important business with his uh, with his daughter, which by the way is is terrible. Okay? Of course, it's an absolute that. tragedy, and I do not yeah. wish it upon the guy. Of course not. It's an absolute no, tragedy. Not. And then you just have Joss Whedon do like, you should have had him from the beginning, okay? If you want this yeah. specific kind of movie, then. So and I'm sorry. I'm sorry, right? Like, as much as like a Batgirl movie would be cool from Joss Whedon, he needs to direct Justice League Two. He needs to. Like, what the fuck? Yeah. I don't know. He's already doing Batgirl, as far as I know. Oh man, that's depressing. Honestly, just depressing. But anyway, um, what else? What else? What else? Uh, God, there's so fucking much. <laughs> there's so much to talk about. Oh, luckily it was only a two-hour uh, movie, though. <laughs> uh-huh. Oh, yeah. And, uh, um, actually, the, uh, they demanded it was two hours because they were like, we have to cut our losses here. Make yeah. This as short as possible. Maximize those screenings, you know what I mean? Exactly. It's, it is um, it is a shame that the movie isn't doing as well because like, with Batman vs. Superman, it deserved to, to absolutely bomb in the box office, uh, which yeah. I don't think it really yeah. did it. I mean, it, it, I think overall it, uh, it didn't do overly well, but I, I'm pretty sure it made a profit. I don't know. I didn't really look it, it up. Made, I think it, like, it, it did well, just not as well as they wanted it to. You know yeah, what I mean? yeah. Like, it um, made a billion dollars because, I don't know, like, with Batman alone, they made a billion Dark Knight trilogy and stuff. Yeah, so. yeah. Is it expectation was low well, we got all three of them now so you know, <laughs> okay. oh that film could have been we don't need to go into batman vs superman but that film could have been so much fucking better right let's continue um, on I, I, um, I have to say like so what you're saying about um yeah when superman came back i just thought the whole like the whole reasoning behind it was so stupid like laughably yeah. like, laughably I, I was, yeah like, i know yeah like on, no on you go make your point just get these uh, they just get all the, the guy, I think they have like two mother boxers or something, and they're just like, oh man, oh, you know, like Steppenwolf, he's gonna, he's gonna destroy the world and everything, oh, this is terrible, and then Batman's just kind of like, hey, wait a minute, why don't we just use these boxers to resurrect Superman? Like, <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> I know everyone's just it's like, like a fucking science experiment. I know it's it's everyone's just like yeah sure well except from Wonder Woman and then eventually Aquaman just like maybe this isn't a good idea <laughs> but um yeah no I completely agree like from the way like as much as I hated Batman vs Superman like the one the one the one glimmer of hope at the end of that movie is when you see like the like the dust and the dirt rise from Superman's coffin and you're like. Oh, so he's 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 gonna resurrect himself if you know what I mean. Like he's he's gonna come back alive. Yeah. You know, that's what I assumed would fucking happen. You know, maybe it'd be like a a pre New Fifty Two, in the in the rebirth <laughs> in, in the rebirth universe coming back because the New Fifty Two Superman is dead. I thought it'd be like that kind of something yeah. like that. But oh no no no, they had to resurrect him like they did with Doomsday. I'm like, oh oh, oh that's dodgy. Uh-huh. <laughs> that is fucking dodgy. That's clearly Zack Schneider's doing. Just saying. Um, oh yeah, that, that totally was. I mean, like I said, we they reshot the whole thing with his, yeah. His red thing. So that's definitely a Zack Snyder idea. Yeah. Did you hear? Oh. Um, I'm just gonna go over this briefly because it, it is to do with Justice League. Did you hear that Warner Bros. offered the guys that who who are making um, Mission Impossible Six to actually CGI his mustache into Mission Impossible Six? Uh, wait, what, what was that? Right, basically, um, you know how in Mission Impossible 6, Henry Cavill will have um, a moustache? 
Yeah, yeah, I know all about that. You yeah, basically, Warner Bros. offered the guys who are making that movie, they offered them to basically make or to, to CGI on uh, Superman, not Superman's mustache, Henry Cavill's mustache for the movie. They actually offered them, well, not even money. They said they were going to fucking do it for them, and they refused. And I'm just like, uh, what? <laughs> like, why that's wouldn't just you? Sad. I know, like, I, I think they'd be like, yeah, okay, sure. I mean, I mean, do they even need the fucking mustache to begin with? Like, really? But, but I mean, if it's, yeah, I mean, we talk about how obvious it was from the trailers that everything had been changed. But, I mean, you can tell by his fucking mustache. You can tell, like, when they use the CGI to cover that thing up. Yep. It's literally in the first scene. <laughs> yep. It's in every scene, I'm pretty sure, is it not? Um, yeah, most of them. I think the only one where I didn't notice a mustache uh, was um, when he's standing around in the cornfield talking to Lois after uh -huh. he's back. That's about the only time I didn't see a mustache. Yeah, I, I think, like, in some scenes it was just less obvious because I'm pretty sure he pretty much had a mustache for the entire fucking movie. God damn it! Two goals, really? Holy shit! Um, sorry, sorry. I'm getting off topic there. <laughs> uh, like, I think we'll, I think we'll go into like Steppenwolf because that is quite a broad topic. Um, so Steppenwolf, oh, yeah. just to begin, guys, if you haven't seen the film, like this is a complete spoiler-filled uh, podcast. Like, so if you don't want, oh, actually, well, oh, I don't want to lose views, well, but actually, since since um, well, you know. I've... Okay, I'm, I can't acknowledge it's an encyclopedic or anything, but with regards to Steppenwolf, we, yeah, we know a few things. We've got some familiarity there. Like, so I'd say we, we came familiar with him in the Earth 2. Um, yes, yes. He's basically the main villain of that. And I'd actually say Steppenwolf is actually a really cool character. You know, he's... Uh, Absolutely. He's, kind of got, he's got a bit of royalty to him. He's, he's a tactician. He's always one step ahead. Of, of, the, of the heroes you know yep but there was film. absolutely yeah, sorry I, I know exactly what you're gonna say and i'm just gonna go ahead and say it there's absolutely none of that in the film he's fucking pathetic yeah, he's just he's, he's just a disposable cgi yeah monster. yeah it, 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 it's like honestly i remember the whole time just like they could have had dark side they could have had dark side they could have just had dark side obviously bringing in dark side would have been a not good idea but the whole time you're yeah. like they should have just got dark side <laughs> they should have just got dark side i don't know why they didn't <laughs> honestly um uh but yeah just... steppenwolf was he was just so he was so boring like he just didn't bring anything yeah. to the movie like honestly if steppenwolf was a good villain that film would have been leaps and bounds better because as you know it's not just the heroes that make the movie it's the fucking villains okay the villains okay. make the movie as well and that's why for me the justice league it's oh man i don't know it's like a step sort of in the right direction but I, I, as i told oh you I, as i told you the other day it's just it's not enough it's it's just not enough you know i, if, I did if wonder, woman, if wonder woman is three steps forward justice league is like it's two, two steps, steps back. yeah two steps back yeah it's like it's it's like <laughs> it's like you know the, the, like joss whedon took one step in the right direction and then whatever Zack Schneider con contributed, just put them two steps back, you know? So they're, yeah, they're, they're basically, yeah. they're almost where they were yeah. with Batman versus Superman. But let me, maybe just like oh. one step ahead. Oh, and, and can I just say the way that they defeated Steppenwolf was, okay. Again, oh man, it was I so rushed. It, it was, was so rushed. rushed. And it was laughable. <laughs> it, it was just like, it's just when the, it's just when the power demons start taking them, you're like, wait, He's actually wait. He's actually been defeated. What? Like, the the way it seems to work was that the Justice League getting their asses kicked, and then they manage to get Superman in. He helps turn the tide, and then he freezes Steppenwolf's axe. And, oh wait, no, his sword. Like I swear, he normally no, 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 it was an axe. You're right. You're you're right. It was an axe. Uh, yeah, he normally has a big ass sword, but for some reason, carrying an axe. But that's just another. That's just me weird. Thinking, yeah, weird. Um. So Superman freezes it. Wonder Woman breaks his axe. Steppenwolf gets scared. Okay, they, they make they make Steppenwolf scared. Steppenwolf is feeling fear now. Yeah. So his fucking army, who apparently they they, they like smell fear or whatever, because it's so badly explained, then just decide to turn on him and start eating him. <laughs> so then he gets teleported back to the apocalypse, where I guess Darkseid is gonna spank him. 
<laughs> Dark Side is gonna kick the living shit at him, by the way, because he's failed twice. He's yeah. failed fucking twice. Wait, that was so, that's an utterly pathetic way to get rid of your villain. Like, he just gets scared and then his army t turns against him because of it. I mean, first of all, why do you have an army that's going to turn against you the moment you feel fear? Okay, this is sort of, that's just per planning right there. Yeah. And. Again, I honestly laughed because I was just like, "Wait, what?" <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, the, the film really just does end all of a sudden. It's, it's there's not a real yeah. gradual end to the film. It's just like, "Oh, and that's the two-hour mark, and goodbye." Yeah. <laughs> you know, it's just like that's it. The way, yeah, you're, you're exactly right. Honestly, it's like the battle just goes on for like a lot of amount of time, and they're like, "Oh, okay, time to end now." Yeah, yeah. It's it's just, uh, man, I don't know, like. <sighs> No, I, I on the one hand it's... on the one hand the film should have been longer but the longer version will be fucking shit so i don't want yeah. to see it <laughs> i don't know if maybe it would have more of what we liked i mean i don't know if man I actually, um... I actually really liked i really liked jen gordon okay i actually thought that, that, that jen gordon was the one who came out best in this the whole thing he had one scene Nah, nah, man, he had like three scenes. I, nah, I nah, really... nah, he had like two scenes at the most. He didn't have three. Oh, well. But maybe, I, I did like him, he... though. Don't, don't get me wrong, I did like yeah. Jim Gordon. I don't know, I think it's just because J.K. Simmons is a very good actress, so he managed to, you know, come across quite well. Yeah. But, um, well, I guess we've talked about uh, all the reshoots. We touch upon um, Superman's resurrection and, uh, well, all the all the silliness involved with that. So yeah. Actually, if we come back to Superman's resurrection, actually, one thing I really liked was when the Flash is running towards him and Superman just turns around. Oh, everyone loves that bit. It's so good. Yeah. It, you have to admit, is... it is pretty fucking good. It's it just is... like Superman just turns and he's looking at him like pure evil. You're like, oh! even the Flash is like, oh, shit. <laughs> like... <laughs> it's, like, it's just like, wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> like, God damn it. You know, like, I, I seen something today, like, on Facebook, and it's just like, who do you think is faster, The Flash or Superman? You're like, <laughs> I mean, this isn't, this isn't, like, the movie. I mean, like, comics. I'm like, oh, that's funny. I, I swear yeah. to God, that meme just said, who's, who's quicker, The Flash or Superman? Uh, <laughs> it's The Flash. I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah. Whoever says Superman is a fucking idiot. I'm sorry. He is quick. I'll give him that. I'll give him that, but he's not that fucking quick. I'm sorry. Uh, he's just not. He's faster than the speeding bullet, but he's not faster than the speed force. Exactly. Exactly. If you mm -hmm. can tap into the speed force, fucking fair play. But he can't fucking do that. So, yep. oh, Never sorry. Did. My tangent is over. No, it's okay. It had to be said. Yeah. Um, I think also, with regards to Superman coming back, like, the whole, the whole movie, like, you can just tell... Another indication that they completely changed course, because one of the things I hated most about Batman vs Superman were these bloody dream sequences. Batman oh, has of this God. And they just completely okay. got rid of that in the movie. They, 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 just as like, yeah. it, there's an actual theory that it might be like that. Basically, there's something about an alternate timeline or something that Justice League is now in. Uh, Man, I don't fucking know. Like honestly, I I really don't understand it at all. Like I don't get the theory to be perfectly honest. <laughs> The thing is, though, I think I actually see the seeds because in those dream sequences, okay, Earth is all post-apocalyptic. You have Dark Side's symbol burnt into the ground. Mm -hmm. I think Stephen's plan was to make Earth like Apocalypse, so I guess yeah. in the future that's what happened. But I mean, fuck. Yeah. What I don't know what else to tell you because, like, it serves no purpose in this movie. No, absolutely doesn't. It, it's it's so pointless. It's so fucking pointless. Yeah. And Batman doesn't even mention it to Barry. Not once. Yeah, you're right. He never says, like, oh, yeah, I, I kind of, like, saw you recently. Just Barry's just like, pain. Barry's just like, dude, what you talking about? <laughs> oh, man, speaking of which, there's, I mean, this isn't something I actually noticed at the time when I saw the movie. Mm -hmm. But, I mean, this is, again, this is just something, like, like, this movie doesn't make me angry. Like, a lot of its mistakes I actually do find kind of funny. But uh -huh. Wonder Woman and Cyborg. Like, apparently Cyborg says to Wonder Woman that uh, he was repaired. He was repaired on the day that Superman died. The Mother Box acted up and repaired him and gave him his cybernetic parts. Uh. You know for a fact about Superman, that's not true. Because Wonder Woman watched the goddamn video. Oh my god! That's so true! Oh yeah. my god! 
<laughs> and people said, she, but at no point did she should say to him, no, that's not true. I saw a video of your accident. I saw what happened to you. <laughs> it didn't happen like, it happened like months ago. Are you crazy? Oh my god. Oh man, that's just another another plot hole. Another plot hole. Uh, man, that's where even the, the comics have more uh, consistency in this when it comes to continuity. But, oh uh, Jesus. Yeah. Um. So yeah. Uh, as far as yeah. As far as the plot holes, that's that's all I know. Oh, there's fucking tons, man. There's tons. Probably. Oh, yeah, there's, there's I can't remember any, but yeah, there's tons. How, why don't we? Uh, you want to start? Like diving into individual characters. You know? Yes, yes, I do. I think we'll start with um, Aquaman because I felt like, yeah, he just wasn't he wasn't used enough. He wasn't used enough. Yeah. He just he, you know like Aquaman was just not used enough. Um, I, mean, I don't know so why though. He was sold as like one of the MVPs of this movie. Like he was gonna have the best lines. He was gonna be really funny. But they just used all that up in the trailers. Like there's yeah. nothing with him. Yeah, because I, I think it was Jeremy Jans. Um, that said that oh yeah you know that really awesome aquaman scene in the trailer <laughs> yeah that's the entire scene in the movie <laughs> i'm just like oh okay and then he was he was he was right you know it was the whole scene in the movie and i'm just like oh that kind of sucks like we just seen the whole movie in the trailer so what the fuck is the point you know yeah. i mean it's what information and like okay you know gal gadot i have to say i wasn't entirely impressed with batman versus superman her character didn't have a lot to do in that movie, but then yeah. you know, in the solo movie, I was very surprised. You know, they they really made Wonder Woman, the cinematic version of Wonder Woman, into a worthwhile character. Maybe they can do the same for Aquaman in his yeah, own movie. Yeah, yeah. So, I, I, I am really looking forward to the Aquaman movie because um, oh, I think yeah, it will be awesome. Movie. It's completely independent. It's James Wan. He's a good director. Yeah. They've got a decent fucking cast. Oh man, I should have saved that way quicker. Um, yeah, it'll be a good movie, yeah. I think. I will say, what we do learn about Aquaman is so badly explained. Like, all they mumble a few lines about, like, his relationship with Atlantis and everything, with Mera, but when he speaks, I'm not sure, when he speaks to Mera, I'm not sure if this is, like, meant to be the first time they're meeting or if they've spoken to each other before. Yeah, like, like I really, really do, I really couldn't tell either. I'm like, wait, do they know each other or, like, maybe just know each other by yeah. reputation or, like, I don't fucking know. <laughs> She fucking talks to him like they've never met before, and at the, the, the same time, it's sort of. He like talks to her like that... he knows her. It's 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 so it's so weird. Uh, yeah, I know exactly what you're talking about. Like, yeah. it's it's really weird. Yeah, and I do, I do have to say like, <sighs> like I mean, it's kind of bad when I notice things like this because when it comes to the technical aspects of filmmaking, I don't really care all that much. Yeah. I thought that like the lighting for that scene was horrific. Yeah, like I, I felt like it was just kind of forced in there because you know it was just basically a, a teaser for the Aquaman movie. <laughs> That's all it yeah, was. I mean, let's be honest. honest. Yeah. Um, yeah. The, the uh, I'm sure James Wan will do a much better job with the uh, you know the underwater scenes and everything. I think he even said himself that there will be no uh, there'll be no air bubbles and talking under air bubbles. <laughs> but, so. Yeah, I mean, I'm not, I'm not too worried on that front, to be honest. I just think that uh, for this specific movie, Aquaman, yeah, not, not exactly. Yeah, he kind of he kind of sucked. Like, he, I, like Aquaman yeah, himself did. didn't. It was the just like he 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 really just wasn't in the film. If I'm being honest, you know, like he, he just didn't do anything. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you know, like all I can say is that I guess they, I don't know, they showcase his powers quite well. You know, you know he's yeah. a water guy, and there was that scene with the uh, I don't know where he get accidentally steps on the lasso of truth, and he. Oh, that, that was his... funny. That was funny. That was funny. Yeah, that was really funny. That was a Joss Whedon scene. You just know it. You just know it. Oh, yeah. It was a Joss Whedon scene. Oh, yeah. There's no doubt about it. I mean, it's not. It, it, it's funny, but it's not like you know, you know, Marvel humor. If you know what I mean, like it's it, it's just genuinely funny. You know. Yeah, exactly. Because you're just kind of like, wait, why is he saying all this? And then you realize he's that, like, it's just... Yeah, like, you're like, wait, he's being overly honest right, right now. Wait, say that again, sorry? I'm just saying, that's probably, just, that's just more proof that Jason Momoa was just uh, not really given enough to work with. Yeah, yeah. Whoa, shit. Uh, let's move on to The Flash. Yeah, I've, uh, so, of course, with 
uh, the Flash. We're, we're both uh, we're both really into the TV show. I think. Yes, of course. I think it's great. You know, it's uh, barring barring uh, maybe most of season two, but my yeah. best best all in the past. Uh, Grant Gustin, uh, you know, I had my reservations, but he was amazing playing the Flash. And well, I will say this: they do quite well to make him stand out from the TV version. Yep, definitely different. Way, way different. Um, For better or worse. I'm going to say first, because I know you really didn't like him, so I'm just going to basically go through what I liked about The Flash. Um, I thought, like, there was a few awkward moments, right, which I didn't like with The Flash. Like, the first and basically second scene with his dad were really poorly acted. Even from the guy that played Dr. Manhattan, they were very, very poorly acted. Like, Ezra Miller's attempt at a cry... Like, it was pathetic. It really, uh, really was fucking pathetic. It really, truly was. Um, and, <laughs> um, yeah, those scenes were pretty fucking bad. Uh, clearly, it's Zack Snyder again. Um, yeah. I'm not trying to blame Zack Snyder for everything, but, like, it really is his fault. I'm sorry. It really, really is. Right. But anyway. Oh, it's quite easy to pinpoint, you know. Yeah, who's yeah, who's. yeah. Because you can, you can really, you really, really can tell, you, apart from a couple scenes, but it's, it's usually any good scenes by, you know, Joss Whedon. Um, but yeah, like, there was a few funny scenes with the Flash. Um, like, I don't know why, but like, in the trailers, when he said that, uh, you know, when like, the Flash is like that to Batman, what are your superpowers again? And he goes, like, I'm rich. Like, I always thought that was kind of shit, but then seeing it in the movie, yep. I, I don't know why, maybe it was just like, the whole scene like, brought <laughs> together. I actually thought it was a bit better. I don't know why. Um, I thought context, I actually, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I think in the actual context of the scene, it was a bit better. So, uh, I did like that. Um, as, I think he's a better Flash, if you get what I mean. Like, I know that, obviously, they're the same fucking person. But, um, I think, suited up as the Flash, he was a lot better. Uh, I didn't like the whole, you know, um, not even, like, the not battle experience. The fact that he's a bit of a pussy, okay? Like, he is a bit yeah. of a pussy. And that's not Barry Allen. That's no, not Barry not. Allen. Barry Allen is... He doesn't care about the risks. All he wants to do is help people. But he was practically forced to go and help people in the movie by yeah. Batman. I was just like, Barry Allen should be doing this by himself. He was doing it before yeah. he became the Flash. It just and when he finally does step up to the plane seat, they just they just make it look fucking easy for him. You know, he's just like, yeah. oh, I saved someone. Oh, I'll just do it again. You know what I mean? And yeah, that was really bad. That scene clearly another you know, action Anderson scene. Although it could have been Joss Whedon. I, mean, I, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, maybe it's unfair to compare the TV version too much, so I'm not going to do that. Yeah. But, um, I, I'd say that's something they understand quite well. I mean, there are times when Barry does get kind of terrified for his life or whatever, but, you know, he always is always shown, like, you know, being like, I have to do this, you know? Like, it's, Yeah, but there was none of that job. in the movie, to be perfectly honest. Uh, apart from maybe, like, the end when he knew that, like, oh, my God, everyone's going to fucking die unless, you know, <laughs> I actually do something, you know? <laughs> unless he actually yeah. does something, so, yeah. yeah. Um... um what else? What else? You got anything else about the Flash? Well, uh, I'm going to be a bit more harsh. Um, I'll just say go. that I most of his most of the most of his humor scenes did not work for me. Okay. I was just like this guy is. I just found him awkward, uh, like kind of like socially awkward. Just kind of like it, it, honestly, I just found most of his like most of the scenes that f focus on him individually to be kind of awkward. Like they would just try and make you laugh with his Damn it. supposed jokes and everything, but you just yeah. kind of like, no, you'd, you'd be like, what, what, what the fuck is wrong with him? Like, yeah. And as you said, like I mean, in the beginning where um, he he draws on the guy at the prison, like, oh, that was really funny actually. I did like that. And apparently that yeah. was Zack Snyder. Oh. Sure. Um. But uh, I don't know. Is this? Not a lot of it worked for me. Yeah, like, I I do agree with some of the scenes didn't work, but for me, a few of the scenes did land for me, or some of the humour did land. Um, but, I just kind of felt like he yeah. should have been accompanied to a laugh track half the time. I, like <laughs> I know, there should have been That's canned laughter. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like, like um, oh, here's, what good is that? Like, normally I just push people and then run away. Insert can laughter. I mean, because there's a bit of an awkward silence after that. And, yeah, and Batman just like, oh are you fucking serious? <laughs> like, are you, wait, wait, is it? I, I honestly like the real Batman would be like, wait, you're not joking. You, you you're actually being serious. 
<laughs> right now. You're being fucking serious. And then, uh, yeah, I just don't. It's kind of hard to put into words why I just why I dislike about the uh, the performance. None of them have blonde hair, which I don't understand. Like, is it that? Uh, is it really that difficult? Why can't they just get a blonde Barry Allen? Like, it never. It doesn't really bother me that much. But whatever. Yeah, especially in like I mean. I think for the TV show, they actually were looking for someone with blonde hair, but Grant Gustin is apparently so good, they just like, okay, yeah, fine. Yeah. But I mean, for the movie version, it would have been nice to have someone who at least physically resembled you know, the version for once, but... Uh, yeah. It's fine. It's fine, I guess. Okay. Uh, Let's move on to Wonder Woman, then. Wonder Woman. Well, uh, obviously, our solo movie, uh, we both thought it was great. Um, yep. Not very really too much to say about uh, one of women. Yeah, see, you know, that's kind of my problem with it. Like, she didn't really do a lot, to be honest, for me anyway. I, I just don't think, like, she obviously she helped out with the team, like, or for, for, you know, like forming the team and all that. She recruited Cyborg, and you know, there's a few motivational yeah. stuff that she had done, and obviously she was pretty badass in the fights. But I just <laughs> felt like, do you know what, Graham? None of them really done a lot, okay? Batman was even worse yeah. than that. You know, like, I just felt like, collectively, they done a bit together, but, like, if you look at them individually, See, it feels like they don't do a lot. I don't know, it's kind of weird. See, that was a, it's actually a common criticism that I've been hearing, that basically, they they all, like, the five of them try to solve things on their own. Yeah. They realize they can't handle it, so then Superman comes in and basically just takes care of business. So yeah. So basically makes the... It basically makes it Superman and pals. It basically makes the entire point. The Justice League of it. Redundant. <laughs> yeah, because they even say, oh, we need Superman, we need Superman. It's just like, my God, buck up and fucking face the problem you're fucking having, man. Like, holy shit. Exactly. I mean, okay, maybe Wonder Woman is a bit weaker than uh, our comic book self, I think. Uh, I mean, she certainly isn't bulletproof in looks, but mm -hmm. she can't fly. Um but, I mean, you know, she's still pretty powerful. You have bloody Barry Allen, if he's not quite got the grip of his powers. But, I mean, you know, it's hardly like they're useless about Superman. I mean, for God's sake, the, even about, about, the Justice League's about Superman, okay, they're not quite as powerful, but they can still pretty much handle most things on their own. Yeah. So, I mean, like, and plus, Steppenwolf didn't even seem like that much of a threat. Let's face he really it. didn't. He really, really didn't. Really didn't. Um... What else to say about an illicit Aquaman? I will say, um, what was that? An an illicit Aquaman. I meant to say Wonder Woman. I was trying to think what else to say about Wonder Woman in the movie. Uh, what were you gonna say? Um, I really liked the scenes of Cyborg. I actually thought that's where she stood out most, surprisingly. Yeah, that's the scenes. Yeah, that's probably the best scenes that they like they had of Wonder Woman, to be honest. Yeah, they they actually have a really nice relationship there. Unless they've done more of it. I agree. I think she might appear briefly in the cyborg movie to be perfectly honest because it feels like that's something that they kind of have set up if you know what i mean like not quite a friendship yeah, well maybe a, may, maybe a friendship i don't know um well, they seem to be kind of making a thing about how they're both sort of outcasts they've just both been hiding away from people. yeah like she was trying to encourage him to open up more i mean i'm not saying that was uh that's kind of how i'm not saying it was done expertly or anything in the movie mm -hmm. it certainly wasn't but that was definitely seemed to be the intent anyway yeah, yeah. Marlena, who's who's up next? Oh, I think we'll go for uh, yeah, we'll go for Batman next. I think we'll go for Batman. Um, Batman yeah. for me was even less involved. Not not less involved. That's not the right word. Less used, I guess, than Wonder Woman. Um, I just yeah. felt he. Ma I just felt he made no impact to the film. I I just I just felt like he was good at what he'd done, but. <sighs> I don't know. He he kind of sucked. He 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 didn't he didn't he didn't do much to be perfectly honest. And I think yeah. Zack Snyder has kind of <laughs> he's kind of shot himself in the foot because like Ben Affleck as Batman was one of the only good things about Batman versus Superman, and he's went and fucking ruined it. <laughs> so you know, yeah. like see, this uh... is what confuses me. How did they manage to take one of the visit people? Mostly everyone liked about Batman vs Superman and make it lame. Yeah, worse. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I honestly, I, I don't know. I, I don't know, and I, I don't know what Joss Whedon's influence was over the, the bat, over the Batman, over Batman in the movie. It could have been more positive, so that's why he's a bit better. 
or he could have been a bit worse because of Joss Whedon. We don't, we just don't know. But I, I just don't know, man. I really just don't know. Like, it, it, it just watching the movie. Like, he he was surprisingly he was actually better in the first half of the movie than he was he in was. the second half. Even though the first yeah. half of the movie was really really fucking weak. Um, yeah. When he was just working alone, he was fine. But then when it comes to this whole cosmic threat, he's just useless no... yeah useless. he doesn't have useless. any powers and it, 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 it's one of those like very you know big jokes in comic books like oh batman sucks because he doesn't have any powers and it's like oh batman's so much more than powers and it's so true in the books but in the comic uh, 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 in the books it's so true in the comics but in this in this movie you're like oh my god <laughs> uh, see now i think that's probably where where zach uh mostly zach because let's let's face it it's is mostly Zack. <laughs> um, like, Batman has kind of, specifically when he's with the Justice League, his defining trait is his intelligence. He's a tactician. You know, it's like, it's not the fact that he can fight really well, that he's he knows all these different fighting styles that sets him apart and makes him a Valiant member. It's the fact that he's more intelligent than most of the Justice League. Yeah, put together. <laughs> put together, yeah. This movie... None of that is there. Okay, no. he's just another disposable fighting fighter, yeah. except he doesn't have any superpowers. And you know, the movie admittedly tries to acknowledge that he doesn't have any powers and he feels inadequate compared to the rest of the team. But then, instead of trying to like kind of show that he is still useful, it makes him look inadequate. Kind of seems, yeah, the, the movie just kind of seems to go, yeah, yeah, he, he is inadequate. Kind of like <laughs> yeah, it's like, he even says, I think he he says at one point to Wonder Woman that she should be leading the team, and she's like. Yeah, probably. <laughs> like, oh, wow, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. At least Superman will take over um, when, you know, they actually fix the DCEU, if they ever actually fix it. I don't think they will, uh, but whatever. It might be too late now, but um, I think we can save that for the closing thoughts, but anyway. Um, yeah. It, yeah, it's... I think, again, it's like it's not because... It's not because Batman is useless, because we know for a fact that he isn't. It's just... It comes from a misunderstanding of the character, okay? They don't understand how Batman is able to fight alongside the likes of speedsters and Kryptonians and, you know, literal demigods. Yeah. Yeah, so they just... So they try to address it in the movie, and instead of actually trying to come up with a valid reason why he can still contribute, they instead just have all the characters kind of tell him that he sucks and he agrees with them. Yeah. What? Um... Yeah, that's all I've got to say about it. Okay. Well, uh, before we kind of wrap that up, or wrap the podcast up, we'll briefly talk about Superman, I guess, even though we kind of already have. What were we going to say? We forgot somebody. (laughs) We forgot Cyborg. Didn't we talk about Cyborg? Oh, shit, we didn't talk about Cyborg. Oh, crap. We'll we'll forget about Superman. We've pretty much much talked about him. Right, Cyborg. Um... You you know how much I hate Cyborg. Uh, I think I've mentioned it yeah. in the first podcast. Uh, I absolutely hates, absolutely yeah. despise Cyborg. Everybody yeah, everybody Mostly does hate everybody. Cyborg. Everybody hates Cyborg, but I do have a soft spot for him because he was main character in the Teen Titans. Oh, Jesus and it, you know, he was a cool one. He was always saying booyah and stuff. Um, yeah, but I mean, I do agree. Like in the comics and otherwise, Cyborg is he should be an interesting character, but he's really not. He's, he's just, just not. Yeah. yeah. I actually thought he was really good in this movie. I was genuinely surprised. I mean, it was amazing, yeah, but for what um, for what we were given and what I was expecting, he was leaps and bounds better than what I thought he would be. Um, absolutely. Not entirely developed, if you get what I mean. Like, there, there was a lot more I think they could have yeah. done with the character, but that, I think that's basically what you could say about every single character or major character mm-hmm. in the movie. Um, yeah, I mean, the actor, um, I, I think the actor that was pretty good fine there because he's not really a... Uh well-known yeah he was a good actor he's a very good actor um but yeah i mean they come up with all these interesting ideas for him i mean like his relationship with his dad which is always actually kind of a touchy subject and comments i mean there's that um but yeah it's just he just wasn't developed enough i mean what scenes he did have like his whole we already said earlier his relationship with wonder woman that stuff was done quite well but it just Mm -hmm. wasn't fleshed out enough um yeah if he were to get a movie yeah I'd be pretty interested in it, but I mean, God knows if that's going to happen now. I mean, oh we'll, God, I know. We'll see. Um, so yeah, just um, some good things there, but wasted potential. Yeah, no, I completely agree. I've I've not I've honestly not got anything else to really add. I just thought 
character yeah. was done well, but not well enough, I guess. I, I, I don't know. Yeah, that's, that's a good summary. <laughs> so, should we... Should we just talk about Superman, or should we... Yeah, briefly, just entire... for a minute or so, yeah. Because there's not really yeah. much I've already basically talked about him anyway. Less lines in Justice League than he did in Batman vs Superman. <laughs> but I don't have a problem with that, because it's kind of understandable, because like, he was only in, like less than half the film but more than quarter of the film yeah. i don't i really remember to be perfectly honest it didn't bother me quite as much this time maybe because uh yeah they actually gave him things to do yeah i i, I thought honestly like superman was one of the saving graces of yeah, well, this film he was so good henry cavill clearly yeah, just went out and just went all out with superman he just clearly was i need to do this i need to impress the fans i need to show them that i am superman and i am not like just you know screwing the fans over so and he did it yeah it was, he did a good job yeah he was honest he was i think the whole movie i had no i was like that is superman that's Superman yep. right there i mean it's amazing the difference it makes when he actually smiles i know <laughs> no more broody <laughs> superman broody batman yes yeah broody superman yeah no we've already got uh, that in injustice yeah. and he was poop well, he's not Pip, he's a good Superman, but, you know. Yeah, it's just not quite the, not quite the one we know and love. Exactly, exactly. Yeah, uh, um, yeah that's pretty much all I have to say about Superman. Anything you want to add? Uh, yep, pretty much the same things. Uh, finally did his character right, wasn't that hard. Um, yep. Yeah, I mean, Henry Cavill finally proved that, you know, he, uh, he, he is a perfectly good Superman, uh, which yep. was... It's nice to see, so yeah, we can at least say that is uh, one of the saving graces of the movie. Agreed. Absolutely agreed. Okay, so I think um, <laughs> I think that's pretty much it. Uh, although we, we, we've talked more about the characters, but to be honest, I think that's kind of the point of oh, yeah, ruining the movie, so. to be perfectly honest. Um, so yeah, that, that point of ruining a lot of story. Yeah. Um, I, I'd say the story yeah. was pretty weak, to be honest. I mean, like... Yeah, it was very weak. Yeah. yeah. Um, okay, so I think we'll uh, just go for our individual rating and then our all together or um, our overall rating. So, what would you give it out of ten, Graham? Uh, out of ten, I would give it a five. I think mm -hmm. that's I think I think that's very fair rating. Um, like I said, there are, you know there, there are some good things in there, but this, the the bad things I would say kind of bother me more. But it wouldn't. Like, I mean, I don't dis I don't dislike it. Okay, like. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, that reason I wouldn't get it a four or anything like that is simply just middle uh -huh. of the road, like, perfectly average, is what I say. There's not, like, the, the good stuff is, like, is good, you know, and, like, it's nice and everything, but it's not groundbreaking. The bad mm -hmm. stuff is bad. Like, it's, like, <laughs> a, it's bad, like, but it's not offensively bad. Like, some yeah, of it yeah, I actually yeah. find kind of funny. <laughs> like, yeah, saying, it's, like, it's laughably bad. Yeah, laughably bad. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Blood, but yeah, I mean, um, not not like Batman versus Superman, where it's like it's, they drown my my pet dog or something, <laughs> um, nothing like that. No. Yeah. So yeah, that's five out of ten for me. Okay. Um, you, for me, it's still seven out of ten. Um, simply because I don't know, it's just there's something about the movie that I obviously liked more than you did. Maybe it was the the stuff that Joss Whedon maybe done. I don't know. I just like the movie. Well. Um, but I understand every single problem you have with it, and I completely agree with every problem you have with it, 100%. No, likewise, I can, you know, if you enjoyed it, I, I absolutely can get why you would Thank you. Can, yeah, Thank you, Graham. Yeah. Um, yeah, no but problem. I think for the overall overall rating, like for the both of us combined, I think we'll give it maybe a, a 6 out of 10. Does that, that sound fair? A 6, yes. A 6 yes. is very fair. Yeah. 6 out of 10 for the overall rating for the uh, for the podcast, so... Um, yeah, that's it, guys. Uh, I don't know how long this is, uh, actually. I think it's going to be about 50 minutes or something like that, so that's pretty good. Um, and we will probably see you soon, guys, because uh, I don't know what we're going to do. Maybe we might do The Punisher Season 1 for Episode 3, oh. if Graham would actually yeah. finish it. No, I'm only joking. I'm only, jo I'm only joking. I'm only joking. <laughs> um, because I finished it, and it's fucking awesome. Um, yeah, so we will see you in Episode 3, guys. Farewell. See you later.